Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this Maersk SD40-2 locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build now. So as usual, we'll start with the rear coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak bed skate. Then on the next block forward, on the bottom middle, three light blue concrete. Then a Prisbury brick slab on the upper hitbox of either side, and five light blue concrete across here. In front of it, a three block tall T-shape of light blue concrete in the middle, and put a torch on either side of the second layer. In front of that, a five by three of light blue concrete coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up this side gap and three on this side. Then up here, three prismarine brick slabs on the top middle. Then we're going to open a fence gate on bottom above each rail. Then we'll put two end rods here. It will do two end rods on this side. Then up here, we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on either side and a mangrove fence gate in the center. Then in front of this, a fence gate on each rail. And in front of that, another right wheel on each rail. In the center, another brick block and another brick slab on the upper hitbox. Then a fence gate, another brick block, another brick slab. Fence gate, another brick block, another brick slab. Then another right wheel here and here. And same thing on this side over here. Then a fence gate on this end here and here. Then in the gaps between the wheels, we're gonna put two sideways lightning rods on all four of these spaces. Then we'll come through and put a hopper on the side of all six wheels. And same thing on this side here. Then we'll crouch and we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper here. And then we need to do the same thing on this side, a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three of these hoppers. Then we're gonna come on top of this on the second layer and we're gonna need blackstone brick stairs and blocks. We're gonna put a line of blackstone brick blocks up the center to the front of this in the middle. On the side of it, a row of dark oak fence gates and then a row of fence gates on this side as well. Then right in front of this on bottom, we're gonna go three wide in the middle with black stone brick block and extend that forward. And we're gonna make this 14 blocks long. So a three by 14. Then on the side of it, we're gonna put a row of 14 upside down black stone brick stairs. And then same thing on this side. Row of upside down stairs here. Then on the top of it, in the front, and on the center here, we'll use polished black stone brick block. And we'll do a three by four up here on the middle. Then come to the back here, and we'll do two rows of three back here. So there's a gap in the middle there. Then come in front of this, a fence gate on each row. Then in front of that, another right wheel on each rail, and in the middle, another brick block, and another brick slab. Then a fence gate, another brick block, and a slab. Then a fence gate, another brick block, and a slab. Then another right wheel here and here, and same thing on this side. Then a fence gate on the end, here and here, and then in the gaps between, we put two sideways lightning rods on all four of these spaces here. Then just like before, we'll come through and put a hopper on the side of all six of the wheels. And then crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And same thing over here, a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper on this side as well. 
Then we'll come on top of this and do a line of black stone brick blocks up the center to the front of it. Then on this side in this corner, a block here and put a bell on the side. In front of it, a line of fence gates to the front and then a line of fence gates on this side as well. And we're gonna come above where this gap is in the fuel tank and on this upper hit box, we're gonna go three wide with black stone brick slabs and bring that till it connects up at the back. Just like that. Then at the front of the fuel tank, we're gonna do a skeleton skull, then a mangrove button, a mangrove sign, and a fence gate. Repeat it on this side, so a skeleton skull, then a mangrove sign, a mangrove button, and a fence gate. Behind the fence gate, do a line of sideways anvils to the back of this on each side to be the air tanks. Just like that. Now come up in front of this and do a five by three of light blue concrete coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the middle. And we'll put a torch on either side of the second layer here. In front of this, we're gonna put three prismarine brick stairs on the bottom middle and an upside down stair facing outward at either end. Above it, a light blue concrete in the middle, two upside down prismarine brick stairs on either side, then three upside down stairs on this top middle. Take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to this blue concrete block for the coupler. Under it, a sideways fence gate, then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we'll do two end rods here, two here, and on the top middle, a mangrove fence gate in the middle with our skeleton skull on either side. Then on the side gap, three smooth quartz slabs here, and three on this side right here. Just like that. Next, we're gonna stand up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all six of the hoppers. Then in the gaps between them, we move down a hitbox and put two slabs on all four of these spaces. So it looks like this on the side here. Then we're gonna put a skeleton skull above the first and last wheel. And same thing on this side, one here, one here. Then come up here and crouch again, and we'll put a lightning rod here and here, and one here, and one here. Then we're gonna repeat it at the back, so come back here and crouch. Put a single deep slate tile slab on all six of the hoppers. Then in the space between, move one hitbox down and two slabs on all four of these spaces. Then we're gonna put a skeleton skull above the first and last wheel. And same thing on this side, over here. Then we'll come up here and crouch, put a lightning rod here and here, and then one here and one here. Then we're gonna come in and grab another brick fence. And we're gonna put one other brick fence above the middle wheel. And same thing on the front truck. Then we'll do the same thing on this other side. And back here. Next, we'll come up top on this third layer with polished black stone brick block. And we're gonna fill the middle three. And we're gonna bring it down to the other end. So three wide in the center, and just keep that coming until it's all filled in. Then once that's done, we're gonna take polished black stone brick slabs out, and on this top outside edge, we're gonna put a slab on the upper hitbox, every other block, so there's a gap of space between each one, and bring that down to this end. And then repeat it on this side, a slab on the upper hitbox, every other block, so there's a space between each one. Then we're gonna come back through with smooth quartz slabs, 
and put a single smooth quartz slab in all the spaces between them here. So we have this alternating black and white pattern. And do the same thing on this side. A single smooth quartz slab and all the spaces between them here. And now the base is finally done. Now on top of the front here, we're going to change this one and this one to black wool. Then we'll come to the rear end, back here. And on this end, we're going to change these two to black wool. And then this one right here. And then we'll come back up so we can work on the cab. Then come on top of the front, in between the two wool blocks, a column of three light blue concrete. And three light blue stained glass panes on either side of it. Then behind it, on this side, we'll do a 3x3 three three of light blue concrete, one block in from the edge. And then a 3x3, three three, one block in from the edge on this side here. Then, in the top, a black wool at the back, two light blue here. Then, right here, put a temporary block, a warp trap door, open it, take out the block. Then crouch and put a light blue banner on the front of the trap door. Then on this side here, we're going to put two light blue shulker boxes. And then one light blue concrete here. On this side, we'll just do two light blue shulker boxes. Then behind it on this side, another four shulker boxes coming back. A column of two light blue. And then bring four light blue concrete forward right here. Then over on this side, we'll do four light blue shulker boxes then four light blue concrete right here. So one side comes out farther than the other. Then on the next layer up, starting from the back on this side, we're gonna go to a smooth quartz block here, and we're gonna put three smooth quartz, then a door here, turn this way, a door here. On this side, start at the front, do three smooth quartz, then a door here, turn this way, and a door here. Then in front of the door here, two black stained glass panes and a light gray concrete. Come to this side, two stained glass panes, a light gray concrete. On the top, we're going to put four outward facing black stone brick stairs here. And four outward facing stairs on this side. And then we'll fill in this roof in between it with black concrete. On top of the front in the middle, a black concrete. And on either side of it, a black stained glass pane. And now the cab is done. And actually we'll come over on this side and put a white stained glass pane here for a side view mirror. Now come behind the cab, one block in from the outer edge on each side and do a column of two light blue concrete, then a smooth quartz, then a light gray concrete, and three black across the top. Behind this on each side, we're going to do a two by two of light blue concrete then two smooth quartz, then down here a light blue on each side, a smooth quartz, and a light gray concrete. Then three light gray concrete on either side here, and on the top of each side three polished basalt. On top of this a three by three of black stone brick slabs up here. Then behind this we're going to do two smooth quartz blocks on the bottom of each side, and then we'll bring light gray up to the top of each side. Then up here, light gray at the back, a cauldron in the middle for the exhaust, and surrounded on top with iron trapdoors. Now come to the back, and in between these two black wool blocks, we're gonna do a column of five light blue concrete. Then on the side of it, five light blue stained glass panes, and five on this side here. Then in front of the stained glass panes, we're going to put a column of five light blue concrete right here. And then five here. And also one in this top middle up here. Then on the top center, we're going to do seven cobble deep slate coming forward. Then on the side, three iron bars, a black concrete, three iron bars. And same thing over here. So three iron bars, a black concrete, and three iron bars. 
then I made a color mistake back here. This top layer back here needs to be black. So change the three blocks to black concrete and a black stained glass pane in either corner. Then, where this black concrete in the middle is, we're gonna make a plus shape of black stone brick slabs. Then one in front of it, one behind it. Then we'll put a jungle trap door in the center of all three for the fans. Then we're gonna come down underneath here and do a full row of smooth quartz to the front here and a full row of smooth quartz to the front on this side. Then in front of this, on either side right here, we're gonna do a smooth quartz and two light blue concrete. Then we do a light gray, a smooth quartz, and a light blue concrete. Then we'll do a column of two light gray concrete on either side and a smooth quartz on the top. Then in front of this, we're simply gonna fill the whole side in three blocks tall on either side with light gray concrete. And we're gonna go ahead and bring that forward three blocks tall until it connects up all the way at the front on each side. Then once we have that on top here in this gap, we're just gonna fill the whole thing three wide with black concrete bring it forward to the front so the whole roof is filled in. Just like that. Then up here I made another color mistake. Change these two to black concrete and these two. And then just to make it match we're going to change out these iron trap doors and turn them into dark oak trap doors. Like that. Then come one block in front of these iron bars on the side. Put an upside down backward facing black stone brick stair on either side. Then we'll do five outward facing deep slate tile stairs on both sides. In front of that, an outward facing black stone brick stair and a forward facing stair. Same thing here, outward facing, forward facing. Then in the middle of this deep slate tile section, we'll make two plus shapes of black stone brick slabs and put jungle trap doors in the middle for the dynamic brake fans. Now come up behind the cab on this side in a column of two prismarine walls in this corner. Then on bottom behind that, three light blue stained glass panes, then two light blue and a white, then two white and a light gray, and three light gray right here. Behind that on bottom, we're gonna do a row of smooth quartz slabs coming back. And we're gonna stop above this first back wheel. Behind that, bring black carpet to the back here. Two rows of black carpet across this and a T-shape at the very back here. Then we'll come up this side all the way with black carpet. Right here we stop one block before this and put two ladders here. Then we're gonna come up here, crouch, and get two black carpet on these shulker boxes. Then two here, a T-shape up here, two here, and one on this shulker box here. Then come up here and we'll cover the whole top of the nose in black carpet, just like that. Then we're gonna come up on the top middle here, open a fence gate and a sideways one behind it. Then two dark oak trap doors with two polished black stone buttons on either side of it. Then a black carpet here and here, two rows of carpet here. Then we'll come behind this and we're gonna fill this whole top down and around and in between these fans with black carpet. Sure we get that other side and then we'll come across the back and get in between all these fans and then a t-shape on this back end here after that we're gonna come down here one block down under these iron bars right here and we're gonna knock out these three blocks skip one forward and knock out four and do the same thing knock out the exact same blocks on the other side and we're gonna fill these holes with black concrete to represent the lettering since we can't fit it. And come to this side and fill these holes with black concrete as well. Then we're gonna come up front on the nose and come over on this other side and take a jungle trap door, close one right here for the brake wheel. 
then take out a birch fence. Right here, we're gonna come up four. Then up here. Right here, we come up three and over one. And then a two by two up here. Same thing on this side, so come up four right here. Right here, come up three over one. A two by two up here. And put a chain across this gap. Then switch to a dark oak fence. Put one here, come up one over one, up one over one. Then come over to this side. Put a dark oak fence here, come up, up one, and then over three. Then we're gonna come to the rear end and go back to a birch fence. And we're gonna do that same pattern. So right here we come up four, then right here up three over one, and a two by two right here. Same thing on this side, so up three, over one, a two by two. Put a chain across the gap. And right here, come up four. Then we'll go to a dark oak fence, connect it up right here, and start bringing it forward. And then right here, on the end of it, we're gonna put one here and come forward by one. Then we gotta do the other side, so come to the back down here with your dark oak fence. Attach it up right here and start bringing it forward. And then when we get up here where this ladder is, we'll come up two and over one. So it looks like that. Now we're gonna come on the side here with a warp sign. And we're gonna type 33 and then another sign with 29. Hit those both with white dye and a glowing sack. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll put a sign here with 33, another one with 29. Hit them both with white dye and a glow ink sack. Now we need to come into a loom with a white banner and light blue dye. We're gonna put a horizontal on the top, the bottom, and the middle. Then we're gonna do a light blue banner, white dye, and a flower charge banner pattern. And we'll come place these. So this flower charge one is for the logo, so we're gonna put one on the middle of the back here. Then we're gonna come up right here in front of this blower, put one here. And same thing on this side, put one here. Then we come up here and put one on the center of the nose. Then we take our stripe banners on the side, put two here. And on this side we can only put one because of the brake wheel. Now we're going to come back into a loom. This time a black banner and light gray dye. Put a border on it. Switch to white dye and make the bottom half white. Then we're going to do another banner here. A white banner, light gray dye. Make the top half light gray. This one is with the black is for the cab window, so one goes here on the back of the cab, and on this side one goes on the front of the cab here. Then this light gray and white one is to hide the door, so crouch and put one over that door so we hide it from the side view here. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Crouch and put one of these banners over the door on this side to hide it. Now we'll detail the front end here. So we need to come up front and on either of these two fences here, we're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light in them on each side. Then up on this top middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. And on the side of it, a birch sign with our number 3329. Same thing on this side. Then hit those signs both with a glow ink sack. Then we'll come and do the back end. So back here, a glow item frame here in the middle with a frog light, a birch sign on the side with 3329, same thing on this side. Hit them both with a glow ink sack. Then we'll open a column of birch fence gates like this for the ladder on that left hand side, and back here a glow item frame on either side with frog lights. And now the back end is detailed up here. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside here. And we'll throw some frog lights down in the bottom for hidden lighting. 
Then at the same level of the doors, we're gonna fill this floor in with smooth stone slabs. Then on this front middle, another right with two levers. Turn around and a stair on either side for seats. And in this gap, we'll put two blast furnaces for the breaker boxes. And now the interior is all completed here. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our Maersk SD40-2 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.